Hi, I'm now going to give you a video tour of the Sailor Plus All Energy version 2.0. You'll see it's easy to use, easy to understand, it's safe, it's reliable, it's efficient, and it's very powerful. The system's been upgraded to 12 kilowatts peak and 7 kilowatts continuous, and we're very proud of the Sailor Plus. So let's take a look and we'll start with the shore power. Okay, so that's the entire system. We like the smart plug and the reason why is there's large contact area on the plug itself. So that results in cool transmission of power. It's also sealed with a double seal on, on the inlet and a double seal on the plug itself. It also has these handy retainer clips which ensure that it has a reliable connection on your shore power. This little light here will shine up blue when uh, it's on. We take the AC power through our AC distribution box. You should note that this is a waterproof box that's sealable and lockable. Everything's coming in through waterproof strain relief valves. There's a, uh, a reverse polarity indicator in case there's reverse polarity on the dock. You're going to want to know about that. There's a main RCVO breaker, which will trip on 30 milliamps of fault current or 30 amps of overcurrent. There's breakers dedicated to every charger and then a breaker dedicated to the house. Excellent way of doing AC distribution on a boat the safest way possible. We take that power to the four master bolt chargers. These are incredibly intelligent machines. They are network capable so you can see they're all hooked up together on a network they act as data acquisition monitors for the batteries when you're at sea and no ac is present takes that information over the network communicates it with different nodes on the bus here you see we're seeing the four battery voltages a state of charge and this will calculate time remaining as well this is a touch screen monitor you can go into every component and get a history of operation you can get all sorts of information on every component. So every, all the information available to you on a touch screen. Very nice situation from Master Bolt. So you'll notice that we're using maxi fuses. These fuses have large surface areas on them so that they run cool. Cool is good on an electric drive. Cool means efficient. So we like our large maxi fuses. We're, we're hooked up right now to test batteries. They're just tiny little batteries. The real batteries that we're using are by North Star. North Star 210 amp hour TPPL, which stands for thin plate, pure lead. These have an advanced electrolyte, which allow for partial state of charge operation. They're also a resilient battery and a forgiving battery. They will, they will allow you to run them down and not charge them up right away, which is commonplace on a boat. They are an enabling technology. While we're here, we should also note that the master vault chargers are capable of being reprogrammed. So when the batteries expire in 10 years, you can use new technology batteries and just reprogram your charging system. Forward thinking by Electroprop, it's in our systems everywhere. You'll notice also that we've managed to network in our 48 volt charging sources through charge enable relays by Masterbolt. These charge enable relays function so that if the batteries are within temperature and voltage limits, then you enable 48 volt charging. This could be with solar, or it could be with an AC boost charger like this 25 amp boost charger. This is a great little charger that we're using now. So this, this is the DC distribution box now. This is a box that does a lot of work in a small area, and it eliminates a bunch of different things hanging on your wall, because it consolidates power into into nicely done, you know, elegant design, power design that's easy to understand and easy to operate. That's because everything's on double pole breakers. This is a 250 amp double pole breaker for the sailor drive. This is a 60 amp double pole breaker for a three kilowatt inverter. And this is a 15 amp double pole breaker for the DC converter. This is the DC converter. This is one which will run a small house. You can double them up and it'll run a larger house load. Inside this, I'm sure you want to look inside here. So lots of more goodies. So you'll see three more double pole breakers. One's for the intelligence of the, of the drive system. One's for the solar charge controller and the other one's for the charger return on the master bolt chargers. There's also a shunt inside here. This shunt calculates the current going in and out of the battery pack and gives you state of charge and time remaining at existing rates of discharge, which we just showed you on the screen all in a nice small package that 
that's very un easy to understand compliments of this machine here. This is a insulation resistance monitor. So it calculates the resistance between battery positive and ground and battery negative and ground. This, this machine is necessary because electric boats like electric cars have floating battery packs because they're high power battery packs. So we want to make sure that that power does not get into our grounding system and this insulation monitor gives us a clean bill of health. As you can see, nice little green light showing there and then greater than one mega ohm of resistance between the battery and the grounding system. That enables you to have a system that's corrosion free, trouble free, easy to understand and easy to operate. Everything that you want in a marine electrical system. Let's go around the corner now. We're going to take a look at the sailor drive itself. The essence of the enclosure, it does multiple things. It provides cooling. It provides an environmental enclosure. It provides a place to mount the drive system onto the boat itself. And it's made out of 3 16 anodized aluminum. We chose it to be tough like that so that you can stand on it in your engine compartment, sit on it, anything. It's tough. It's not going anywhere. You've got a good solid drive there. The star of the show here is this spow fan. This spow fan takes enormous amounts of air out of the drive system next to the motor. It's right in front of the motor. So there's, there's a plenum in here that allows the fan to operate. It pulls air across the top of the motor, but also pulls air through holes in the motor. So it takes heat out from inside of the motor. This increases power levels and increases efficiency levels. It is an enabler of technology. A fan on an electric drive is essential for long-term hybrid operation, for sure. And it gives, you, it gives you sustained high power operation for the drive system. The other trick to this whole system is that we're bringing in cool air from the cabin. We're not recycling warm air that's found in the engine compartment. So this is two four-inch ducts, which allow you to bring two four-inch hoses into the air into the drive unit itself, or you can choose to bring in a six inch duct if it's handier to bring it in through the top. Underneath this inspection plate is our main wiring harness box. This can be remotely mounted if this is not an accessible component when we're fully installed in your boat. I'm gonna open up the drive system so you can see how easy it is to get inside the drive system and to service it in the future, inspect it, you name it. These systems are made to last long, long periods of time. So this might not happen for 10 years, but it, when it does and you need to go in there, easy to get to. And this is the controller. It gets its power from a contactor. And this is the contactor right here. If you can see it there, that's the contactor. It's bringing big power into the unit. After the, after the unit gets a small power on pin one, just an amp or so, it does a check of the entire system. If everything checks out, then the contactor brings big power in through this cable right here. So now we're gonna go look inside the wiring harness itself. You'll notice that we fuse the CAN reference. That's necessary. We don't like to have big power on small wires. That's not a good idea in the long term. There's fuses for the small DC converter inside the wiring box. There's a fuse for the thermistor reference and there's a fuse for the controller pin one as well. Inside here, it's packed a four by four by six inch box, but we have two relays in here. This is the key switch relay and this is the cooling relay. Inside here, we also have a small DC to DC converter that you'll see down there. And that provides power to the key switch. So we have 12 volts at the key switch and not 48 volts. That makes the key switch more reliable over the long term. These are inspection points, so it's easy to put a multimeter in here and measure anything on the wiring harness. Very accessible, easy wiring harness to work on. Easy to understand too. And then we take a look and we go down another level. So down we go again. And this is the real magic of the drive here. Permanent magnet, AC motor, 90% efficient, very efficient motor coupled to a helical gearbox, steel on steel, very efficient transmission of power. Power by an electric motor is proportional to its speed, so the electric motor wants to run fast. Power on a propeller, efficiency on a propeller is proportionate to its slow speed. The slower the propeller, the, the more efficient it is. So you have one thing that wants to go fast, one thing that wants to go slow, you need gear reduction. Steel on steel, the most efficient way to provide that gear reduction. Before we leave the 
motor compartment here, you should note that there's like a DC to DC converter sitting right here, and that's dedicated to the fan. So a nice big oversized DC to DC converter to run that fan. It'll run it all time, every day, all day long. No problem at all. That's a solid coupling here. Board Warner pattern, most common pattern that there is available. On top of that, a flexible coupling. This flexible coupling has an alignment indicator here. You can get alignment down to four thousandths of an inch. Good alignment means good efficiency. We have gross alignment on this rail. This rail can be mounted on the body, either this position or that or that, you know, so it's easy to get gross alignment. Fine alignment's done with these fine threads on this professional motor mount with large bases. Very nice application there. And then there's more gross alignment in this ovaled out hole here, and there's more in this ovaled out hole here. So once you put put your uh, your screws into the into your rails, you can move these things around and you can get them where you want them so you have very good alignment of your drive system. So now I'm going to close it back up so we can keep going on our tour. There we are. By the way, the power can come in either side and the, the wiring harness can come in either side. You can specify that. You go further into the wiring harness, you'll see NEMA 2000 plugs and cables. These are easy to obtain. They're very high quality. One's a female, one's a male, so you can't get them mixed up. One's for the throttle, one's for the display. They come in different lengths. It gives your installer flexibility. It's nice when you're an installer and you have flexibility in what you're installing. Over here, we'll find the key switch. Once again, it's operating on 12 volts. Then there's very almost no current on the key switch, so it'll last forever be very reliable. Here we have our display. On the display, we're showing the motor data at zero RPM right now, zero amps and 87 degrees Fahrenheit is motor temperature. And the big numbers are for the DC currents so that you can see them from far away. This is an IP65 uh, display, but uh, it's also nice to mount it as, as protected as possible. So zero amps and 49.6 volts. That gives you this now. So this is our throttle switch. We chose a small throttle switch because it's all you need. We're not having to, to uh, push big cables anymore. So if we turn it on, you'll see we hear the drive start going and you'll notice that we have 270 degrees of resolution. So even though this is small, it has super high resolution. So a recap here, North Star batteries, enabling technology, fantastic battery. We've got smart plug shore power, big connections, cool running, sealed up so it doesn't get wet. Again, waterproof AC, very nice safety feature on a boat. Incredibly smart chargers from Mastervolt, a fantastic solar charge controller by Midnight Solar. We have DC distribution that just looks after business and a ground fault monitor or insulation resistance monitor that uh, makes sure and gives you a clean bill of health all the time and lets you understand your system. That's the Sailor Plus.